So dudes, dudettes, dolls and gents, this, these are all of the leave-in conditioners I'm putting in my hair. Get ready, folks. Just want to let you guys know, this is a long video, so get your popcorn. It's interesting, but long. Get ready. Hi, buddies and curls. Welcome back to my channel. It's Melissa Q, and as you can tell, I did a little bit. I tried to zhuzh it up just a little bit because I am filming at night. My husband has gone to work, and the kids are watching a movie. But on tonight, something happened that totally changed my world. It rocked my world because my girl here on YouTube, Andrea Renee, came with mixing her foundations, y'all. And I know I look kind of crazy because I need to wash my hair. So I had kind of like a roll off epiphany. Now she got the idea from Amanda Singh. I had seen it from another YouTuber here on the channel. I'll link her video down below, but she did this a couple of months ago or maybe even a month ago of mixing all of her foundations. And I was like, hmm, what if I mixed all my leave-in conditioners together? Like all of my favorites, y'all. And I was like, hmm, it's time for wash day anyway. So I am filming this right after seeing Andrea's video. So girl, thank you for the inspiration. I'll link her video down in the uh, description box and I would love for you guys to go and subscribe to her channel. She's almost at 100K, so y'all, let's get her there. I wanted to come on, y'all see my hair. I don't even have a little lipstick. I, I probably really, I, know, I think my mascara was running, but I wanted to come on camera and show you I think we are mixing about 20 leave-in conditioners. I have it right all here, y'all. And um, I wanna go ahead and mix it first before going and coming back and like letting y'all see the kind of like the, how it looks on my soaking wet hair just because it's a process before that. And I didn't wanna come in front of all this equipment with soaking wet hair like right now. I could have done that, but I don't want to be mixing because just because my hair tends to dry out very quickly, I want to come on camera and just show you guys what I'm doing. I do have a mixer right here. This is a spatula, actually. This is the Makeup Miser. It allows you to get out anything out of a bottle. So I think I'm going to just put an amount on here, hopefully taking the same amount and just putting it in this container because where's my container? I got my container over here. Where's my container? I'm gonna put it in this clear container just so you guys can see. We're gonna mix it up and we're gonna put it on my hair. Okay, and then let me know what you want me to mix next because I wanna do my creamy stylers. I wanna do gels. I wanna mix all of my deep conditioners together. So um, I'm gonna leave a poll over here if you guys can vote and let me know what you guys want me to mix next, I think I want to do this kind of like as a series. You know what I'm saying? Just to see. I don't want to like do it all at one time because I think I want to see if individually what kind of concoction I get because I might end up really liking it and just like making my own mixture from my favorites. Now, I did a declutter. I'm going to link it over here if you guys want to check it out. I just did like a clean out. A week and went through all of my natural hair products and I decluttered but I still have like a lot of leave-ins we are going to mix 20 leave-in conditioners tonight so um yeah without further ado let's get into this and if you have not subscribed go ahead and hit that button you gonna love it here okay I know I might look a little cray cray my mascara might be running but you're gonna love it here and don't forget to hit the bell it's gonna let you know that I post videos every Monday Wednesday Friday at 6 p.m. and y'all the new year you want to stay tuned you want to stay tuned because I got some good I got some good content not that my content is not good now, but it's going to be bomb in 2018 just because I, you just, just subscribe. Okay. And, and hit the bell. Okay. Let's jump right in. Cause this is going to be a while. All of these don't deem as leave-in conditioners. These are, some of them are like deep conditioners, but I use them as leave-in conditioners. So I am doing hair milks, leave-in conditioners and deep conditioners that I deem as leave-in. So the first one we're going to talk about is my first, The my, this is my first love, Curl Junkie Curl Rehab. We're going to take this mixture and we are just going to put, let's pump, hopefully, hopefully this doesn't get too messy y'all. We're going to pump, ooh, let's pump it. 
I'm gonna just, since we're doing 20, one, let's just fill it up. That's enough. I did like four pumps, y'all saw it. Okay, so that's the curl rehab, and we're gonna take, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a messy one. Okay, so I'm taking it, and this is like a little mini spatula, my makeup miser. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do 20. If I need to go in more, and we'll add more. This is the Soul Tanicles Knot Sauce. Like literally, I'm having to do it like this. You know how you can kind of feel it coming out. Here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Two, that's two pumps. Three, four. I just need to have enough to like cover my whole head. If it has a pump, I'm trying to like fill up the spatula. This is the Sweet, Sweet Cocoa Curling, Curl Smoothing Cream by Darcy Botanicals. One, two, three, four. Oh, that looks like ice cream. Ooh. I just gotta make sure it gets in this container, y'all. This is the She Scented Papaya Blooming Curl Hair Moisturizer. See, this is a hair moisturizer, but I do leave this, use this as a leave-in. One, this is kind of loose, y'all, so we'll do it by pumps. Two, three, oh! Four. Why am I putting it on here when I just know I could just do the pumps? Melissa, you so smart. This is the Garnier Whole Blends Legendary Olive. We are just gonna squeeze like just enough, right? Camille Rose, this is the Coconut Water Penetrating Hair Treatment. And thank the Lord, I think most of the, all of these are glycerin free, I think. So we should get a pretty good, I'm hoping that we get a con good concoction. This is the Bucura Beauty uh, Honey Latte and Nectarine Vanilla. This is a detangling milk. Like some of these are like brand spanking new. The next one is Belle Nouveau. This is the Avocado Shea Healthy Hair Conditioner. Some of these I haven't even tried yet, but that's not gonna keep me from trying it. Oh, I'm getting a good amount. Okay. This is the Smooth Natural Perfect Moisture Milk. This one is brand new. I don't even have, let me see, let me add a pump. Oh, there you go. We're gonna put four pumps of this, okay? So, are you ready? Ooh. No, it ain't ready. Okay. One, two, three, four. This squirts out big. Ooh, that's creamy. Okay, this is the Onion Hairdo. One of my favorite, like, leave-in and, like, hair moisturizers. Uh, this is like an OG. Curl Friend Smoothie by S. Beauty. Comes in a jar now. Thank the Lord because this is. Ooh. <laughs> I got stuff going everywhere. This is kind of hard to get out. Oh, it's working with me. Work with me. And the next one is the Curl Aid Moisture Butter by Camille Rose. I'm just going to take like a scoop and put it in there this is gonna i feel like i'm gonna get a good concoction y'all this is curls blueberry bliss twist and shout cream now um uh i think i want to i mean i use this as a leave-in y'all to be honest with you so i'm gonna scoop some of that this is the she scented boabab leave-in conditioner okay so let's put a I don't want to like put my spatula into the jar. Oops. We're just going to take it off of the lid and put it in there. Next one is the Smooth Naturals 
Perfect Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. I think I'm gonna post this tomorrow. I was gonna post a different video, but this is way too fun. <laughs> so, Perfect Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. This is how this looks. Y'all with some smooth naturals in here, and y'all know I'm a smooth criminal. It should be pretty good. Okay. That's the most yellow I've seen. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like watermelon cotton candy. My hair is going to smell amazing. Whether, however it's going to come out, it's going to smell good. What is this? This is the Jaden Moon Vanilla Cookies. I'm going to pour some out. And some, no, it's not going to come out on the lid. Let me wipe this off. I don't want to contaminate my product with anything else on it. Okay, so we're going to go in that much. This is how this is looking so far. I am so excited. Thank you, Andrea, for this idea. This was totally a spinoff from what I saw from you. This is the Smooth Natural Nourishment Hair and Body. You can use this on your hair and body. Oh, this smells so, so good. Okay, let's wipe this off again. Oh, this one's pretty thick. I think that I am not going to have to go in with an oil. Usually I go in with an oil. This is the Naturalista Juicy Leave-In Conditioner. This one is super juicy, y'all. I mean, oils. Oh, I can take it from the lid, though. That's the Naturalista, Naturalista Juicy Leave-In Conditioner. We'll put, some, we'll put that in here. Oh, let's make sure we get all of it off. Like, all of it. The next one is the Sorenzo Kupawasu Hair Milk. This one is new. Having to pull that off. That's enough. Last one, y'all. This is the Bev Bell Bell Nouveau Avocado and Shea Healthy Hair Milk. And this is the last one. Like I said, this is the Bev Nouveau, I don't know if I said that, Bell Nouveau Avocado and Shea Healthy Hair Milk. Now, I'll give you our overview, like a picture of all of these, like together, because I probably didn't hold them up. I don't even know how this looks. When I say this is impromptu, this is so not like me because I love to pre-record, but this is all of the concoction. So we're going to put it all down in the bottom and we're going to mix it. Andrea, you made me a mixologist, girl. You took me back to my childhood. You know how you love to mix stuff. Uh, maybe I should show y'all how this is looking. I know, this is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun. This is so me. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all the concoction that it's made, okay? And I'm gonna still mix it, okay? Hopefully, this looked like something before, y'all, but we are mixing, and this is how it looks. This is a good amount. I feel like that this is going to be a good amount to put on my hair. Will I have to put on any? We'll put a little oil in my hair. Just a little bit, because I don't know. These are leave-in conditioners, but I would normally put on oil. So I'm just going to do my hair like I normally would. And yeah, so that's how the concoction looks. So let me go wash my hair and I will come back and apply this to my head. I am going to leave this in here, y'all. I'm not taking this with me. I'm just going to apply my oil and I'll show you guys what I use. Okay, here it is. Just so y'all know, I'm laying it right over here. Okay, okay we are back, y'all. And I just washed my hair. And I was going to show y'all what I used. 
This is the Bakura Beauty Apple Sorghum. That's the only thing. I like to lock in my moisture with an oil. That is like hands down my holy grail. And when you're like testing or trying something out, you need something tried and true that you can count on, you know. So since we are like doing this concoction of leave-in conditioners, we definitely want our oil and anything else that we use to be tried and true in our OGs that we know will work and perform. So what I am going to do now, oh y'all, and I forgot to put this one in, which I wanted to show y'all on camera. I left everything in here and this is the Camille Rose Coconut Style Setter. Now I did a review on this and if you guys want to check out my thoughts on the line, y'all saw that I already put in the leave-in detangling treatment but I also use this as a leave-in actually to me this is more moisturizing than that but this is supposed to be a style setter so the good thing about this I actually use this as a leave-in conditioner so I am oh, I'm actually gonna put this into the concoction and we're gonna use the lid so we don't contaminate anything okay and the lid has about that much in it. So we are gonna go ahead and mix it. I can tell from the last time that y'all weren't able to see all of this. So I'm gonna show you one last time how this concoction looks before I apply it on my hair. So I think we have used 21 leave-in conditioners. And like I said, I'll show y'all an overview of it. But let me get, I have to get behind the camera because it's not gonna focus correctly. Just so you guys know, that's how it looks. Yes. I'm sorry, y'all. I am filming at night. And so I apologize if anything looks kind of crazy or wonky. Um, I'm going to come back in the morning and show y'all how it looks anyway. Because um, it's not going to be dry by the time I go to sleep. Okay. So let's go ahead and start applying this to our hair. I'm gonna take this out. It looks kind of crazy, but we're gonna just get all of that goodness off. And I only have my hair in like two space buns. So I'm gonna use my mirror over here and we're gonna get this on my hair and y'all are gonna see. I'll apply it to one side and we'll go from there, okay? So I have my mirror like set up over here just so y'all can see me apply it. But we'll apply it on this side so y'all can see. So this is basically my hair. I've deep conditioned my hair just cause it needed it. And this is how it looks. Okay, so we're gonna part it. Y'all know the best way to apply product is to part it if you wanna get it fully saturated on each strand. And I am going to just go into this concoction. Of course it smells good, but this is how, I mean, it it's creamy. And it looks like all of the product pretty much like fused together, look pretty well. Let's see how it applies to the hair. And I wanna make sure that I coat each section. Now, I'm thinking at first I was going to put on a styler, but I think I want to see how this looks just by itself. I feel like I have enough hold in my hair where this could be the only thing that I put in my hair besides the oil. It coats the hair really nicely. And never mind this, I will clean up. I didn't want to put a towel on it because I wanted it. Oh, that looks really good. So I'm gonna smooth and smooth down my cuticle. That looks really good. Y'all see how these curls are clumping? Usually you can tell, and I'm not getting frizz. Oh, that looks lovely. That looks lovely. Okay, let's go ahead and do another section. I'm gonna do this section right here. I'm gonna take a little bit. 
and I have to pay attention to how much because this definitely I have enough um, just to let you know I use maybe about two to three ounces of product when it comes to stylers and leave-in conditioners so it looks like I made maybe about that amount I think squeezing off the amount that I did was really you know a good amount so now we just going down the hair strand smoothing it that looks so good that looks so good that looks so good so of course we're gonna do a wash and go I want to see how it just dries and how it looks and if it's amazing then we'll turn it into a twist out I'm liking what I'm seeing though a lot of times like around this stage I can tell for the most part so let's just That looks a really good. Do y'all see this? I'm not gonna leave a part in the middle. I'm actually going to change up the part. But I get my edges too. That looks really good. It looks really good. I am so excited. Okay, let's move on to the other side. So we're just gonna do, we're gonna speed up the process and I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Okay, so real quick, in terms of scent, I can tell you right now, I smell smooth naturals over anything. Whatever had that watermelon, like, that watermelon cotton candy scent, it took over the whole thing. Which I'm not hating, I'm not opposing. And y'all know, if you have natural hair, you already know, people whiff, they get a whiff of your hair. Like, we like good smelling stuff, so. I'm not even hating. Okay, so one of the other things now that we have it, we have it pretty much saturated. I still have a, um, if this is really good, I'm keeping this. Like this is enough to do another thing. But I might want to moisturize my hair with it. Okay, so now I'm go going to move my part because I'm not going in with the styler. I think I'm gonna be okay. Like I can tell from my hair I'm gonna let it air dry a little bit but it's it's creamy it feels like it's gonna have a hold it's not one of those loose but this looks so good this looks seriously this looks so good I'll apply a little bit more and I'm gonna apply some a little bit more in the drier parts of my hair like this part right here gets really dry So, we are done. I will see y'all in the morning. We have just done, we have just applied 20 plus leave-in conditioners in our hair. This should be some, this should be some amazing hair tomorrow, okay? I should have some John Travolta hair from Greece. No, we don't want that. So, We'll see what we have. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Okay, so we are back, y'all. And um, this is from the concoction that I made last night. And 
basically, you know, getting ready. I just pin my hair back. This is kind of like how I stretch it so it's not so, but I don't have anything on it. So we're going to take it off and we're going to look at our hair. Y'all, my hair looks, first of all, it looks very moisturized. It's still not fully dry, but I wanted to show you guys today how it looked. This is like one day hair anyway. This is with no gel. This is just with those 21 leave-in conditioners. And so that's how it looks. I think it looks good. I think that I'm gonna get some really good hair. Like I'm already liking it and it's not even fully dry. So of course, I wanted to show you guys, but this is actually one day hair. If you're following me today on this journey, You'll see. I will come um, check me out on Snapchat and Instagram, Instagram stories. I will go on there and show you guys progress of when it's completely dry, how it looks. But this is how it looks and I really like it. I feel like so far, so far, um, really the first day is not the test. It's like will it last for two and three day hair. So just follow me on Snapchat, you guys, and you'll see the progress of what I think. But I feel like that this was a great test. Thank you so much, Andrea, for sparking a that creative thought. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, loveys.